What's going on, my friend? It's Jeff Newbert from ChasingStrength.com. And in today's video, we are discussing, or we're going to discuss, an Olympic or world champion's surprising best workout schedule. Okay, so what precipitated this video is I routinely get questions that sound something like this. Hey, Jeff, what's the best workout schedule to make gains, right? And gains are always, you know, capital G with a Z at the end, right? So obviously it's a little tongue in cheek. So really what they're saying is what's the best workout schedule to, and then whatever it is they want to do, right? So how much do you really need to work out and who should you listen to and who's really right? Well, you may have heard this of this gentleman that I'm about to describe to you based on his accolades. So this gentleman won two Olympic gold medals. He won one silver medal. So think about that. That's three different Olympics. That's his career spanned at least 12 years, right? Okay. Which is pretty impressive for an Olympic athlete, especially in the event that you're going to discover here shortly. So he won eight consecutive world championships. Okay. And he set 26 world records spread over four body weight classes. So when somebody like this speaks, yeah, we probably want to pay attention to him. All right. So not only that, but in his, in the heyday, in his heyday, he was the Ironman Mr. World bodybuilding champion. And I think it's really important to note that this gentleman was not subsidized. He did not have any fancy training quarters, right? So he didn't have a training hall with a bunch of other training athletes. He didn't have any fancy coaches or full-time coaches, and he was completely drug Free. By drug free, I mean steroid free. Okay. His name, Tommy Kono. Okay. And we are going to flash a picture of him up here on the screen. So, what was Tommy Kono's recommendations for the best, right? Best in air quotes workout schedule? Well, here are some of the statements he made in his book, Weightlifting Olympic Style, which I think you'll not only find valuable, but actually relieving. Okay. Especially in this day and age when the tendency and trend is to do more, more, more and more. So this is what Tommy Kono said on training time commitment. On page 62, he said, you will be happy to learn that it is not necessary to spend 30 hours a week in the gym to become an outstanding Olympic weightlifter. Too many lifters and coaches have the impression that to become a top-notch lifter, you must spend hours on the weightlifting platform or in the weight room lifting tons of weight. Now, we both know that you probably don't want to be a top-notch weightlifter, okay? We're using kettlebells after all. And if you're like me, well, you probably got kids who are somewhere in the between the infant stage and the just about to leave for college stage. Okay, so we don't have that sort of time or energy, but it is still interesting to know that more is the myth pretty much everybody fights against. Pretty much, I mean, when Tommy Kono was competing, it was in the 40s and 50s and 60s, right? So, I mean, this has been going on for 70, 60, 70 uh, let's see, 80 years if we talk about the 1940s. Okay. I may be wrong on that timeline, so don't don't hold me to it. I had about three hours of sleep last night at the time of filming this, so my brain's a little cooked here. Okay. But regardless, <clears throat> I think it's pretty important to know that the more is better and the more is gives you faster results has been something that lifters and trainees have struggled with throughout the ages. Okay. So it's good to know that Olympic and world champion says, hey, that's just not true. All right, so what did Tommy Kono say about uh, exercise selection and variety? Well, we'll throw that quote up here on the screen. This is from page 66 and 67. He said, you don't have to perform a myriad of different exercises to improve on the Olympic lifts. In the past, some of the most outstanding lifters only practiced the competition lifts plus the deep knee bends, squats, and they improved and kept up with the best in the world. Isaac Berger did just that, and he won world and Olympic titles and broke world records. Pete George during his college years, had hardly any time to train. Well, isn't that a relief, right? That's That describes many of us. Uh, he had hardly any time to train, so all he did was the Olympic lifts plus squats when he could squeeze in time to train, and he won Olympic and world titles. So again, we don't need a complicated exercise selection in order to see the results we're looking for. Now, these guys were world-class strength athletes, so if they can live and survive and thrive and win world championships off of a limited and abbreviated training selection, then, you know, chances are better than good than we can too. Let's see, what else did uh, Coach Kono say? So on this particular quote, he's talking about fatigue. And so on page 82, he says, performing too many sets and repetitions of any single exercise is counterproductive because as I've written before, and this is the important part, so pay attention here, once fatigue sets in, the lifting movement can change, Okay. That's on page 63. And on page 82, he also says, a prolonged workout 
when you are tired will not help you progress, but instead will prevent you from improving. Okay, super critical point there. Most of us guys are dragging our butts from dusk to dawn because we got so much work to do and we're expending so much energy between work, being good husbands, being good spouses, and being good dads, right? So it's really critically important that we pay attention to that last quote. I'll read it again. A prolonged workout when you are tired will not help you progress, but instead will prevent you from improving, okay? One of the reasons that I'm a big believer in 20 to 30 minute workouts, 20 to 30 minute training sessions, two to three times a week for guys who find themselves overly tired and stretched right to the max, okay? So here's what Tommy Kono says on duration. On page 64, he says, a half hour of performing one technical movement, such as the snatch, is enough time to warm up, tax it, and get the maximum benefit for this lift. So let me rephrase that, one lift, no more than 30 minutes. Sounds pretty in line with some of the things that we recommend here on this channel. So here's what Tommy Kono said on going heavy. All right, we'll put heavy in quotes. From page 64 and 65 of his book, when I was in my teens, I could push myself almost every other workout. But when I was in my early 20s, I was generally able to go really heavy once a week. By age 27, 28, my heavy workouts were about nine days apart. In my early 30s, they were about two weeks apart. Norbert Shemansky, who competed in his 40s, would go heavy at contest time and certainly not in training. Uh, now, just for you to note, Norbert Shemansky was a four-time Olympian, Olympic gold medalist, and a three-time world champ. Okay, So let's talk about frequency. Here's what Tommy Kono says about frequency. In other words, how often do you need to train? Do you need to train six days a week like Mr. Olympia does? or may, right? I'm not saying he does, right? But that's, you know, or like Arnold said in his Encyclopedia of a Bodybuilder, six days a week, two hours a day, right? This is what Tommy Kono says on frequency. This is on page 65. So there are several quotes we'll go through here. The first quote is on page 65. It says, you can train as the Europeans and put in uh, twice a day, five, six days a week, but it doesn't mean you will improve that much fact faster. Excuse me. He said, in fact, you will have a greater possibility of injuries. Also on page 65, Pay attention to this. It's really important. Training three times a week tends to create more enthusiasm. And because you have put your heart and soul into it, you reap the benefit of improvement faster. You also have less chance of going stale. And certainly you have enough recovery time from training day to training day. So three times a week. Page 73, 74, Tommy Kono says this. Many times the trainee feels that, quote, a little bit is good, so more would be better. Let me state that it is far better to do just enough to stimulate development and coax improvement rather than go overboard and burn yourself out. You must remember that weight training is very is a very concentrated form of exercise. So Tommy Kono's quotes from this magnificent and esteemed world and Olympic champ should relieve you of any sort of guilt whatsoever you have when it comes to working out and killing yourself in your workouts and feeling like you're not doing enough or feeling like you're slacking off because you can only train three times a week or only train twice a week because of life circumstances. Okay. Here are a couple more quotes that we'll read from Tommy Kona's book that I think are appropriate to what we're discussing here in this particular video. All right. So page 774. Okay. On the training frequency, he says, by consciously, or excuse me, conscientiously training three times a week about every other day for three months. An exceptional improvement can be shown physically and basic strength can be doubled if not tripled. All right. Also on page 74, follow the course on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. All right. So I think those are some fantastic quotes to summarize. And we'll put these points up here on the screen to summarize Tommy Kono's coaching advice to us about workout schedules. It would look like the following. It would be the following six points. Number one, you don't need tons of time to train or work out. Number two, 30 minutes is enough time to train one lift fully, including a warm-up. Number three, you can have world champion performances with minimal training time and minimum exercise selection. Number four, avoid fatigue. It alters your technique. Number five, do just enough to stimulate development and coax improvement rather than go overboard and burn yourself out. Man, that just stands in such stark contrast to the wad mentality, right? Or the boot camp mentality that is just pervasive in the exercise, health, and fitness industries right now. And number six, train three times a week 
on non-consecutive days. All right. Of course, all this is great news because most of us, as you know, as you probably are feeling and well aware of, we don't have that much time to train or work out as we think that we're supposed to, right? And that's why the Giant is one of my most popular training programs maybe ever. It checks all of Tommy Kona's best workout schedule boxes, okay? It's one simple Olympic lift-based exercise. It's the kettlebell clean and press, single or double, you choose. And you perform it three days a week for 20 to 30 minutes. And that's also why I partnered with a company, expanded it, and put the Giant on an app. Not only are there 10 Giant programs, there are five new ones, actually, the One Series, right, which is part of the original 1.0, 1.1, 1.2. We have the 2 Series, 2.0, which is part of the original Giant, and the 2.1 and 2.2, which is part of this new Giant. We have the 3 Series, 3.0, which is part of the old Giant, 3.1, 3.2, and the 4.X, Experimental, all part of the new Giant, okay? So these 10 clean and breast programs found inside the giant on this training app, this new training app that I've uh, partnered with a company on, right? Will make you significantly stronger, better conditioned and pack muscle all over your upper body and just the right places on your hips and legs. So if you'd like to know more about this app and what it'll do for you and even see a demo, I'll leave a link in the description below. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did smash the like button, hit the subscribe button and share it with a friend. Until next time, my friend, stay strong.